This is the first Martin Luther King holiday for the Smithsonian's new museum on the National Mall. Standing in the shadow of a monument to a slave-owning president, the museum explores the tragedy and triumph of African-American history. Errol Barnett is there. But this place just fills me with hope. The chance to be at the National Museum of African American History and Culture on the day honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. brought Walt Nevospana back for a second time. The civil rights movement is something that I lived through, of course, and so it's nice to see a lot of the material collected in one place. Roughly 800,000 people have toured the museum since President Obama helped open its doors in September. It is an act of patriotism to understand where we've been. Tickets, even though they're free, don't come easy. There's no availability until May, and people line up daily in hopes of getting the few same-day passes. India. You're yeah. going in there? Yeah. We've been wanting to get in here for some time, because uh, just we just hear how extraordinary it is. Surprisingly, the museum does not house Dr. King's personal items, which his family is keeping with the estate. But it does chronicle the African-American experience, from slavery through the civil rights movement to the nation's first black president. Janice Robinson brought with her more than a dozen people organized through social media. Well, some people will be coming from Denmark, Florida, Texas. Siblings Peyton and Candace Head were among them, feeling lessons of equality are needed now more than ever. It's just an incredible reminder of um, all the change and progress that has been made and all the change and progress that needs to be made in the future. All right, one, two, three, say cheese. Finding camaraderie in history. Errol Barnett, CBS News, Washington.